Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Savage Kitchen. Today we're going to be learning from Chef Jeremy how to make tuxedo strawberries. When I was putting all this together, I wanted to make sure that it's easy enough for anybody to do at home. Um, you don't need crazy chocolates or crazy strawberries or any kind of crazy equipment. The first thing you need to do is make sure you pick out some nice big strawberries and then make sure they're really cold. Cold strawberries are going to hold that chocolate a lot better. Now when you're melting your chocolate down, um, you can either use the old traditional double boiler or What's a lot faster to use is just the microwave. Just keep stirring it as you're melting it down. And what we're gonna do is, um, I like to just take it by the stem, okay? And then you're gonna dip the front half in just to cover it up like that, all right? And then you can scrape that extra chocolate off. You don't need to cover the entire strawberry because you're trying to make it look nice. And then we're just gonna blot that off. And the reason you wanna do that is because once you got that covered, if you have too much chocolate on there and you let it sit, that chocolate's gonna run off the bottom and it's gonna pool and you're gonna have this little foot on the bottom. It's not gonna look very nice. So since we use those cold strawberries, this white chocolate's already nice and set up. So you can grab it by the top again, but what I like to do is put my thumb right there in the center. Mm -hmm. That's where the, tux the little bow tie and the dots are gonna be. And then I'm gonna dip it in at an angle so that we get that nice even line. And as you're making these, check your chocolate. You're going to want to keep stirring it to make sure that the surface of the chocolate is nice and smooth and level. Because if you've got bumps in it, it's going to give you a bump on that line. And so now oh, we're just going to cut off this dip. And you want to cut it off pretty small. Um, it's better to cut off not enough than too much. So what you're going to do for the bow tie is pipe out like an hourglass shape first. It's a little big there. Fill it in and then just do three little dots. There we are. You got your chocolate covered tuxedo strawberries. Go to newsfirst5.com, click on the Savage Kitchen for this recipe and many more. We'll see you next Wednesday.